Hey, we've got a fish here that has dropsy or it's advanced to a pine cone uh, where the, the scales are raised and it's so sick. It's starting from the internal organs. So we're going to have to euthanize this fish, unfortunately. Um, and one of the most humane ways is to use clove oil. It's 100% clove oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix that with the water because it is an oil. I'm going to take the same water the fish is in. It's pond water dechlorinated. And then we're going to put, uh, in this case, we're going to put 20 drops in. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Twenty. Oop, looks like I got twenty-one. Now that should be uh, ample to uh, put this fish asleep. Now because it's an oil, you want to put it into a little jar. I have a little baby food jar in this case. Shake it vigorously until the oil is mixed with the water. And it's clear when you put it in, and you'll see that it kind of turns an aspirin looking kind of opaque white. When you when you mix it like that, and so we're gonna now we're gonna put this into the uh, in with the fish. Just pour it gently, disperse it around around the water, and uh, you want to mix that a little bit. I'm gonna put half of it in, so essentially about ten drops right now. Now dropsy has affected the fish in such a way that there really is no chance of a recovery for this fish. So it's breathing and slowing right now. It's, like I said before, it happens from the internal organs out, and so there's really not much chance that this fish is going to recover. Even with medication and treatment, its kidney is probably gone and it's going to not survive. It's breathing is starting to slow. I'm going to put the, the remainder of the clove oil in and shake this up a little bit again to separate it slightly. The thing about clove oil is it, it, it's got a kind of a, a nice smell to it. Some people use this to uh, as an aroma. You can find it in most health food stores. If you use your hands in the water, your hands will smell a little bit like clove oil, which isn't bad. Um, but it's not harmful to your skin. Um, and I'm just seeing how the, and it appears to have stopped breathing completely here. But we're going to allow it. There might be a little bit of movement of the gills right now. Um, we're going to uh, allow fish to sit in this for a while just to make sure that it's totally gone. You can wear rubber gloves if you'd like. There's still a little bit of fish is still a little bit alive, so we're just going to let it sit in the clove oil until it's deceased.